Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So today we received the final song for Eurovision 2022. So Azerbaijan has finally released their song to the public. So now we have 40 songs. Um, I just want to take this opportunity to genuinely thank my subscribers uh, because in all honesty, I know this song came out at five and I know that I could have rushed home and I could have quickly got to my laptop and quickly react to this and get this on my channel. But yeah, I luckily don't have to do that anymore because fundamentally, yeah, you guys make this channel and I know that I don't have to do it straight away. I know that you guys are patient. <laughs> And if I need some time before I do a video, then you will give me that. So um, I am eternally grateful for my subscriber base because, yeah, today has not been a great day. And as a result of that, I did need some time. <laughs> so, yeah, I wasn't able to come home, rush home and watch this song. Uh, but I'm here now. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite excited to see what Azerbaijan has to offer us. So before I kind of get into that, I just want to profess a few facts uh, to make this more personable. So hopefully I've worked out how to do this. I will share with you what Spotify <laughs> tells me is my most played songs of all time. Now, this Spotify account I've had for two years, I will say. Think about it for two years um but i had a very long summer in sicily and all i did was listen to spotify and it was post eurovision 2021 um, and hopefully i'm able to show you so this is my top eight <laughs> now if you've logged you can do this yourself you can log into my spotify my top spotify.io and it will tell you <laughs> I knew this already because I'd looked at this kind of a few months ago, but apparently I listened to Matahari so much that regardless of how much I'm listening to Spotify at the moment, that still seems to be the song that Spotify tells me I've listened to the most times. So I was a huge fan of Azerbaijan last year. Um, and as a result of that, I am really looking forward to seeing what they have to offer for 2022. Um, because yeah, Matt Hari was my jam. So <laughs> let's check this song out. Need to turn it off a minute. Now, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is going. Um, so obviously it's not kind of escaped me, the fact that this is obviously a slow song with a male vocal. And I know that fundamentally we are getting that to a very high standard and high level, particularly if we look at Poland. And I personally think, even though I've seen some interesting things on Twitter regarding Australia, I think both of those are strong songs. So yeah, we're one minute in. So I'm hoping in regards to kind of fitting in with the rest of the 39, because we've waited some time for this song. Um, so I'm hoping that this song kind of is able to slot into that top 40 and give me something certainly a bit more, not different, but was worth the wait. I mean, he's got a, a great voice and I, I'm loving the mood of the song. I, I think because I paused it, I've missed the chorus. Um, okay, so we're halfway through. Um, I, th I think already at this point, certainly with Poland, there was already something going on with that. I was like, oh, I'm not getting winner's vibes just yet. This is the chorus. I like the rock tone in his voice.
ah, uh, I'm, I'm smiling because I'm suddenly kind of getting it. And what I mean by that is I'm s starting to become in tune with the song. It's taken quite long to get there though. This kind of final element, this kind of rise in, in, in rhythm, but more importantly, that vocal, you can hear it beforehand. You can hear the kind of quality and the potential in his voice. Um, we have to wait a long time for like, yeah. What's a phrase that I can use here? <laughs> Something popping out of its shell. Right, I'm gonna, I did this with France um, and I learned my mistake with the UK. Um, I'm gonna listen to this one again. Um, even though obviously at Eurovision, 97% of the audience won't have a chance to, mind you, it's, it has to qualify, it has to go through the semi. So a lot of people will have heard this at least twice. I'm, the reason why I'm listening to this again is um, I just wanna catch whether there is an obvious uh, chorus. And it's interesting because based on some of the comments I've seen about Australia on Twitter and the hate that song get it is getting, which I don't get. Not everyone, of course not, but I, I don't know. I don't get it. There's been a lot of stuff that I've seen on Twitter. I think I need to come off Twitter. I think that's probably the solution there. Um, but what's being aimed at that song, I feel could potentially be aimed at this song. Is there a chorus? And what I mean by that, is there a chorus that is infectious a melody that we remember, etc., etc. I mean, it wouldn't be Azerbaijan without that kind of like ethnic instrument kind of making a, a what should we say, a guest appearance <laughs> briefly in the production. <laughs> got to realize we're one minute in but hold on a minute like we're one minute in and live evidently this guy is packing an insane vocal so and again Azerbaijan has no has been known to knock it out of the park with staging like if I'm thinking about it like was it Ching Chingiz is that how you say it that was insane staging but then some people say last year Matahari was bad staging so, well, we know they've got the money. <laughs> There's no excuse not to kind of back this financially. So that first minute can be wow, and it will be wow based on his vocal and based on how Azerbaijan want to stage this. I don't think the wow is gonna come necessarily from the song itself. In the mm. This is the chorus, isn't it? That was the chorus, so I was right. It wasn't about me pausing, there just wasn't much of a chorus. I just think it was a big mistake at Eurovision. If you've got three minutes, I say this time and time again, you're competing against 25 other songs. They're gonna have to rely on an insane vocal, which he can evidently deliver, and great staging, which Azerbaijan have proved they can do. It's such a shame, because I think in previous years, like, this probably would have stood out more it's just this year, if you... I, I didn't know whether Azerbaijan were holding back slightly just to wait to see what the rest of the countries were delivering and then act accordingly. But I did hear a snippet this morning that basically did suggest that this was gonna be slow. So I was expecting a ballad. And it's interesting if you're going to be the last one to release your video and after the kind of like a date, and I, I'm, assu I'm assuming they sent the song in on time, but obviously to release it to the public, which would assume that you have left it later than other countries, which is not an issue. It's a good game plan. I would make that game plan. It's interesting that you've decided, when I say you, as in the Azerbaijani broadcaster or the Azerbaijan um, team have decided to uh, continue with a, a slow song because yeah, this was an opportunity to maybe be a bit more tactical. And this is where the song starts kicking in. So we're two minutes 19. And just, and it's not about the melody, it's not about the beat 
kind of picking up now is just me just tuning into this song because oh by like australia you wouldn't say that the beat kind of kicks in and right yeah the beat probably kicks in about now with australia song but there's already something in australia song where i'm listening wanting to know what kind of happens next i'm slightly worried this song because when the song hits this point i'm actually quite into it See, this is good. And that's the thing, that will probably be the saving grace, right? A lot of people, when they kind of try and recount songs, particularly in the semi final, if you've got 17, 80 songs and you've got to try and remember back the ones that you like, it's obviously the last third that you remember. And again, countries can be very clever about which part of the song that they put into the recap. I would put this part of the song into your recap. It's interesting because, um, yeah, I'm just trying to think over the last couple of years. So, yeah, so if you think about it, 2014, Delara, Start a Fire, qualified in what I perceived to be a worse song. I really wasn't a fan of that song. And then 2015, Elna, incredible voice. No one is doubting that in the slightest. I just wasn't a huge fan of Hour of the Wolf, but that came 12th in the final. I think this song is better. I think this song is better, but it let's just kind of call it the elephant in the room. This song is competing against a plethora of slow songs this year. So yeah, I've got semi-final two up now, and it's just, I don't know why. Like, if I was Azerbaijan, I'd be a little bit more tactical because I've just seen they're in semi-final two. So they are up against Australia and they are up against Poland. So they're in that same semi-final. So you can't even say that they might get the kind of ethnic vote because it's not really doing that either. And I think Montenegro is doing that in abundance. Um, I mean, there's not loads of slow songs. I do. I, th I think the, th the fact is if I was the... Not the, I think Poland is a safe qualifier. If I was the Australian team, I think I'd be sitting back and a little bit concerned. I can't see a scenario where both Australia and Azerbaijan are going to get through. When you take into account Cyprus, which I think is going through, when you take into account Finland, which I think is definitely going through, which you take into account Estonia, which I definitely think is going through, you take into account Sweden, that's a slow song, which is definitely going through, Poland's definitely going through. Actually, this semi is wide open. I've not properly looked at this, these semi-finals, but it would be quite interesting if if we have a scenario where both both Azerbaijan and Australia get through. Um, I think Poland. I think Poland's doing something else. I think it's been very easy up until this point to compare Poland and Australia, but they are two very different songs. But I think it is fair to kind of make some comparisons between Australia and Azerbaijan. And in all honesty, on first lesson, which, listen, which one do I prefer? Australia. But I have seen Australia live and I haven't seen this one live. And I think that's a huge difference. I think this is evidently a song that needs to be performed because I think the selling point of this is probably the singer, Nada, in all seriousness. With what I could hear at the end of that song, this dude evidently has pipes. And so he could be, we've, we've seen this time and time again, right? Where a song is just kind of meh, but then on stage, if it's kind of delivered vocally with perfection, something then kind of takes, something, part of our senses kick in, right? And then we connect with it and we get it. But it, a bit like Rise Like a Phoenix. And I think that's fair. Like, do I listen to Conchita Rise Like a Phoenix all of the time? No, but when I watch it, do I get the same goosebump emotive feeling when I see it? Yes. And because it has that potential, particularly with his vocal, I think let's just hold out some judgment until we see this dude sing this live. And like I said, Azerbaijan, there is no excuse not to send pockets of money behind this one because they've done it in the past. Just take Chingus's, uh, my bracelet, take Chingus's performance. That showed true well that when Azerbaijan get it right, they get it right. But that took money. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think. So all the songs are released. So obviously my job now is, I've been getting into the kind of national finals. My job now is to get into qualified songs. 
um, and then start ranking them, et cetera, et cetera. But that is it. We've got, we've got through it. <laughs> it's like it was a bad thing. Um, so yeah, please let me know what you think of this song. Pardon my neighbor's water. <laughs> Um, please do subscribe to the channel if you're tuning in and you've not subscribed already. Please do click the notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe. Well,